All right, guys, I just wanted to say in advance, uh, pre-intro, that I'm, I'm first of all really sorry for the audio. Uh, the audio in this video, the whole video is awful. I have no idea what happened. Um, I did do a Windows update just before the video, so I'm not sure if that had an impact. Um, but ultimately, the whole audio is pretty naff. I'm going to keep the video, because there's a lot of stuff in it, a lot of content. But in the next episode, I'm going to try and do a, a roundup of everything that happened. to tr if Because if you don't want to watch this episode, I completely understand, but I'm going to leave it in anyway. Um, if you choose not to watch it, that's fine. Uh, maybe just leave a comment to say you're not going to watch it, and then I will in the next episode. Because I'm going to record the episode at um, some point today. Um, but I'll do a little roundup anyway to show you what's going on so uh yeah sincere apologies i only just noticed and um hopefully it doesn't affect it too much it does affect it quite a bit but like i said if you choose not to watch it just let me know leave a comment that's absolutely fine and we'll make sure we round up everything the best we can in the next episode thank you and roll the intro all right guys welcome back to project portsmouth this is season 4 part 11 and it is effectively a whole video on the pre-season and depending on how it goes, maybe the first game of the next season. Now, recording this a couple of days later, I need to just refresh memory where we are. We've got the end of season rewards, so player of the season goes to Troy Parrott, 51%. Do you know what? He was an amazing. I am surprised he is so far ahead of Norris. I did expect Norris to be very close. I'll tell you one thing I need to do really quick. Let's just try one more time and see if we can get him on. Um, uh, what's it called? Oh, we're already, we've already done enough. Uh, uh, who was the other one? It was uh, not Norris. Garner. He, let's see if we can get him back. They want us to pay nine points. Yeah, I'm happy to pay that um, to the end of the following season. So hopefully we'll get him back again. And there was actually one other. Pl uh, who was the other one? Oh, we need to get a couple of these uh, Liverpool players back. So hopefully... Portsmouth are not on this player, they'll be breaking one or two... The squad may have no more than two long-term domestic loans. Ah, dear. Okay. Alright, that's fine. We'll have to figure out about getting a new centre-back. Um, that is a shame. Anyway, we'll come back to that. We can only have two loans. Jesus. Okay. So... Barcola gets gold of the season. Let's have a look at this. This is when he must have come off the be excuse me, bench in this game. Let's have a look what goes on here. <clears throat> Barcola running down the line, although very slowly. <laughs> oh, that was a good smash at the near post. Is that the best goal we scored all year? Maybe. I don't know. Sign of the season, James Norris for free. That's an understatement. This guy is so good. And he might be able to hold his own in the Premier League. I guess we'll find out. So... Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Uh, team of the season, Ligali Parrot, yep. Leo Garner Stewart, yep. Norris Matheson, yep. Yeah, I'm happy with all those. And El Mag, perfect. Season review. Uh, few have tipped them to achieve top half, but they've managed to get promoted. Jubilant success. Lost in the fifth round versus Arsenal the FA Cup. Finished fourth in the Championship. Lost in the third round of the Carabao Cup. But we lost against Arsenal and Man United, so no real complaints. Lost 3-0 against Derby, that's really really embarrassing, but we did manage to smash Charlton 6-1 earlier in the well, earlier in the season, right at the start. So that's really good. Club vision and expectation. What so this year we've got to work within our wage budget and fight bravely against rele rele relegation. But other than that, I don't really care about anything, so I'm happy with that. Squad dynamics. You can see we've got great dressing room atmosphere, great managerial support, some really good players up here, team leaders in Parrot, close, what more? Close is one of those players that's definitely going to be rotation. He has, he was this season. He will be next season. We're going to say um, we're just going to fight as hard as we can against the relegation, and they're all happy with that as they go off for their pre-season break. And obviously, we've had quite a lot of injuries this season. Uh, obviously, Barnett, one of our youth players, he's looking like he could be a really good player, but he's really been hindered based on his last injury, which is a shame. We've got players such as uh, Lopez, who's out for six weeks, who I think is going to be incredible. The only problem I have with him is he's not really he's not really a deep line playmaker because he hasn't got good enough vision for that. And he hasn't got good maybe I don't know, he's just sort of good at everything. He's more of a ball winning midfielder, if anything, looking at his mental stats. But then his marking isn't high enough, so I don't know. We'll see what, what happens with him. Preseason date. Uh yeah, we'll have a five week preseason, let's do that. 
train destination. Should we go Portugal? Yeah, let's go Portugal again. Parrot wins top goal scorer in the championship. He was 14 goals ahead of second place, Balog. What a guy. What an absolutely incredible achievement. He's done it two years in a row now. What a guy. He gets Young Player of the Year. This is the Portsmouth players in the team of the year. And Matheson and Parrot, but Timon must have been amazing. Oh, how has he got that? How has he managed it? I'm really disappointed that uh, Norris didn't get anything there, but... Oh well. Um, let's see, see, a couple of players hampered by injury, which isn't good. We've got a few good youth players, though. As so you can see here, apparently Jack Rolls is a decent Premier Division player, which is shocking, because um, I barely played him, but that's fine. Got a few players here. Mackay apparently can be a Premier Division player. He's... okay, interesting. See, like I said, we've got some good players. Um, let's move on. Anything else we need to do? So we've, they've accepted James Garner. I think I'm going to keep that. I think he is a player we need to keep for next year. Um, contract extensions. We've got... So, okay, so I've added these into some of their contracts. So some of these players, three-year contract extension after gaining promotion. So now players like Watmore, he's got a contract for five years now. Players like Singer, he's got a, another contract for five years. I think the reason I did it mainly is because we can, the mo longer they have on their contract, the more money we can demand for them. And the Gali as well. Apparently he's worth half a million now. And how much we bring him in for? Okay, just under that. But um, yeah, really, uh, I think that's really important to do that. I tried to do as many players as I could. Uh, the board have planned to install under soil heating. Okay, and we're going to upgrade youth facilities. It's going to take eight, about eight pumps and will cost three million. How much we got in the bank? Okay, we're running a bit low on money at the moment, but with the television money coming in soon from the Premier League, that should put us up to about forty. Surely we should get about forty million. This guy looks quite good. Um, so Parrot breaks the goal scoring record. Um, his record last year was. No, sorry, two years ago was 24 goals, and this year he's only, this season he got 38. James Norris, the 16 assists by James Norris is a new team record. It was previously Seddon with 14. Do you remember Seddon? What a guy he was. He's not even that good. You can actually compare. I think he is slightly better on paper, but marginally. Where's Norris? Uh, do you know what, actually? He looks like he's a lot better according to this, but um, clearly not. Um, okay, so I've realised at this point I'm just sort of chatting as I'm going through. Uh, obviously we've got, there's a lot to go through in pre-season and I'm going to try and do it all in this episode, but, um, okay. They're looking to give him a chance in the first team. We're going to go up to 14.5k, and then after that, if we don't get him, we're going to have to look for another striker. Although we already have some good strikers, but they've not played enough first team football to justify them being our first choice. Um, you can see how Mac should probably get a new contract. I probably agree with you, sir. Let's do that on here. So, he's going to be our first choice goalkeeper. We may end up getting someone in maybe in January or next season. I don't see us, I don't see any point wasting money um, on a new goalkeeper. He wants a lot of money, though. Jeez. That's a lot of money. I don't think I can justify that. Relegation release clause. Uh, I suppose we can go to like eight. It's probably fair to keep him happy. Uh, let's bring this down to about twenty-one and a half. Twenty-two. Okay, he's happy with that. We'll take it. He does deserve it. It's been so good. Alex Bass. Do you know what? I've only been keeping him because he's homegrown at club. I'm going to ex uh, trigger his extension clause because we might need him. Hoban, unfortunately. He will be leaving the club. I don't think I want to keep him. We can find someone else on a free. He's probably about as good. And we'll get him for free. Um, and he'll be younger. So we've got Walcott here. Um, we, I do think we should probably sign him up. Because we did pay nothing for him. Uh, let's, let's offer him a new contract. Um, 3.2 is quite a lot. Okay, he's happy with that. Let's go with that. Oh, it was a transfer list or Rojo. I completely disagree. So let's get him signed up as well. Big pay rise for Rojo. 
don't think we should give him a big prey rise, but let's, let's get him, uh, let's get him signed up. Oh, he's not happy with that. Okay, let's put it back in. Wait, I've just done exactly what he asked. Ah, screw it. Well, we've got a year, we've got six months or so to get him tied down. We'll accept Garner for next season, because he's, he's really good. Like, if I can only have two loans, I don't want one of them to be Leo. I think Garner has to be one of them. Uh, like I say, he's such a good player. Um, let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to go for a bit more scouting, because I realise I've been chatting on for quite a long time now without any real purpose, so I'm going to come back when we've got a bit more important news. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. Stan, you've already got like five strikers. Yes, I do already have five strikers, but a couple of them are absolutely naff. Like, look at this. So we've got Parrot, then we've got Barcola, who's apparently our second best. Legale, who's going to be probably either second or third choice striker this year. Bayakov, I severely, underest I severely overestimated him, but he is still better than this guy. This guy is awful. I need to sell him. Um, look at his pace, he's terrible. We want to get rid of him. Um, yeah, so we're going to buy this new striker. I'll show you his stats now. He's got very good technicals. He's fairly quick. Um, he, and his position off the ball is really good. Uh, positioning has a bit of work to do, but, you know, work rate's really good. Technique's good. Determination, decisions, composure's good. Anticipation. I think this guy is just a way better version than what we already have. Look at Dolgorov, look at this, look at that comparison, same age as well. Bayakov, again, he, this guy is going to be better, and I'm going to accept it. 1.25, 1.2 million rising up to 2 million, 16 grand a week, quite a bit, obviously, but we do have a bit more to burn at this stage. And we've also got um, Cherno here made an offer for Dolgorov. How much do we pay for him? We got him in for free, so any money is profit. Um... They want us to pay 2k of his wages though, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that for you. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get him out at some point anyway. So other than the first season when we started, we've been, the board has been quite tight. Uh, no, sorry, it's been really good with the money, shall I say. Apart from the first season, they're really tight. But 13 million they've injected into the budget. Very, very nice. So I just wanted to show you that. Alright guys, I don't think we're going to be able to get power. I tried this already. I'll show you what I tried. So I tried 60k per month. The, the, this is the very last I'm going to do, because we'll be paying an awful lot of money for someone we can't even keep. Um, I do think something like along the lines of, um, I don't know, 20 mil as an optional future fee. I tried it without the future fee. If we can offer that, if they don't accept this, that's the last we can do, I'm afraid. Um, but, still, it was, a. Uh, it was nice to have him for as long as we did, but we definitely are pushing our luck now, especially when Tottenham, you know, they probably do want to, to keep him, so Walcott's got a new contract, El Matt's got a new contract, and they have rejected. That's it, fortunately. We haven't got Parrot. I do want to declare interest in him again. Um, for transfer, but again, I don't think we're going to be able to get him. But, um, yeah, that was it for the moment. Guys, this is a massive sign-in. Oliver Skip, defensive midfielder, 22 years old from Tottenham. His contract has expired. We're going to get him on a free. Now, obviously, we're paying him an absolute fortune. I think he'll be the top earner at the club. If we go to wage. He will be the top earner at the club by a mile. But have a look at this guy. Look at his mental stats, his physical stats. If we look at him on his, on his report, he's a leading championship player. Could be a good Premier League player in the future. Like I said, we're getting him on a free. His technicals are a bit meh. But as a ball in midfielder, he's going to go in instead of Stewart, basically. Stewart is a good player. We really like Stewart. But in terms of the Premier League, I'm not too sure. Like, he played really well in the Championship. If, any, in, if anything, he played better in his last season, even though he's, you know, but he's also 29 years old. Uh, he'll be a very good backup option. But Oliver Skip is just the next level. We can actually compare them. Kevin Stewart. I mean, he's literally seven years younger and just look, he's already slightly better. Obviously, you've got first touch is better. We've got a few things in here, marking, passing, um, penalty taking. But other than that, really, Skip is the better player. So we're going to bring him in. It's a big deal. It's a big deal for the club. And it's going to cost us a lot, a lot of money. Um, but I think it's going to be worth it. It's better than having another loan deal as well. So welcome to the club. 
Oliver Skip. It's a bit difficult to say that as a <laughs> as a, an Arsenal fan, but he'll be joining the club, I think, in like a few weeks, potentially. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that as that came in. All right, guys, here we are. Confirmation of our two new players, Oliver Skip and Tetsuro Asanuma, uh, joining the club for a grand total of two million pounds. Um, obviously on quite a lot of wages, but we're going to send them on to, well, well, not Skip, but we're going to send on, uh, what's his name, Asanuma, on to an intensive language course. I'm going to get close to introduce himself. Uh, we've got one other person here. Um, I've been looking at Scherz. Now, I was going to get him in as like my second choice centre-back, uh, and I'll show you who's going to be the first one in just a second. Um, I hope that he wanted a lot of wages, though, so I think I am going to try and go in for him again. I have to remember with 3.5 last time. They've accepted 2.5, that's interesting. Um, I'll show you who we were going to get in. In the meantime, we've got some loan offers. Um, I'd like to you know what. I'm happy to send you to either one of those, to be honest. Uh, yeah, go on. We're happy with either one of those. Take him. McKenna. Scott McKenna. 26 years old. He was a free agent. Let me just show you him. Look at this stat. Look at look at him. 16 jumping reach, 16 heading, 15 strength. Good pace, good tackling, good positioning, good mentals. He is absolutely insane. And he's agreed to join us on, what is it, um, 23k a week. He's got a couple of release clauses in there, but it was either that or pay him 30k a week. So we'll take it. Now let me just show you this guy. A minus. Pleased to have signed... A player of this caliber, great replacement for this guy. Now look at him, he's already worth 13.25 million. What a pickup this guy is. I actually can't believe I managed to pick him up. What? I can't even. Um, apologies if there's a little bit of background noise. If there was, it's gone now. But we got this guy, picked him up from Aberdeen. He's been at Aberdeen his entire career. We picked him up on a free. And he's just insane. What a player. He's already made 41 caps for Scotland. Welcome to the club. Obviously, we are spending an awful lot on wages now. Um, we've still got some room to budge, though. We've still got £150,000 to use, but this is probably one of the best value-for-money signings I have ever made in Football Manager. Guys, this is absolutely outrageous. Uh, Jeffrey Mars, who's our Youth Academy intake from literally only a few months ago, £8.5 million Everton have come in for. Now... I don't think I can risk letting him go because this guy already looking at him. He, for 16 years old, this guy is absolutely, I don't I can't even stress it enough. If, maybe if his crossing was slightly higher, but looking at his overall technicals, mentals and physicals, this guy could be an absolute world beater. And eight and a half million is no, it's just not enough. Obviously, he's not going to kick up a fuss because of his age. But um, still, I, I can't even believe it. Now... Optional future fee. The, th the thing with this guy, if I can get... Okay, they're happy with that. I want to get him out of the club completely, but the uh, Dolgorov, no one's offering anything. The, the offers have come in for him for like 150k, and I'm like, I can't I can't take that much of a hit. And again, I know he's free, but I can't let him go that cheap. I need to get at least sort of like 300, 350k for him. If anyone wants to do that, absolutely fine. Got a few players like this guy who, we're not going to be able to get this guy, he's 18 years old and he's already apparently worth sort of 50, 55 million now. I want him, whether we're going to be able to get him or not. We could, like, I'm sure they'd let him go out on loan, but I don't think we can make loan offers because we've already got two, no. But yeah, I'll show you when we've got, got some more news. Now this is an interesting offer. Um, it's actually not a bad offer at all for, for Dolgorov because... Oh, <laughs> Okay, the fee up front is absolutely woeful. But if you change it to that, it's not a bad offer. Obviously, they want us to pay another 500, they pay 500 pound of his wages every week. But to be honest, to get him off the wages, I'm thinking it's worth it. If we cut this maybe 40% profit, profit of the next sale. Because he will be a good player, I do think. Um, let's just see, maybe if we up this to 100,000 as well. Yeah, they're happy with that. Joe, you know I'm happy to let him go for that. We need him out of the team. He's taken up not even too much wages, just having the extra player in the squad that we need to, you know, we can't put him in on 23s because we need our 
youth players and to be training up there so and he'll just be getting in the way but that was just a little sign to show you all right so we've got another sign in joining us Corentin Luakima coming from PSG there's a transfer that uh, will be going up to 3.7 million but I do think he's really good and obviously being a wonder kid as well it does it does sway my judgment but we're losing Hoover we're probably losing Matheson as well. It means we literally will have no right backs other than our youth prospects. So, I think this guy, although he's played bad in the Premier Division so far with Norwich, this season just gone, he, he's probably going to be our starting fullback. And then we'll have our youth, any one of our youth players as our second choice that could end up going into the team. So, although his crossing's quite low, defensively he's sound, physically he's sound. I think it's worth bringing him in. And it's quite a low fee as well. You know, we might end up be able to get 10, 15 million for him in the season, if may maybe. But, um, yeah, um, we've actually had another offer for from Birmingham. This is a better offer. I'm happy to accept that as well. Although, let's actually add 50% onto that. Okay, happy. They are happy. 12.5 million for Jeffrey Mars. It's so tempting because he is very good. Is he going to be that good <laughs> I mean it's currently 8th choice right back 6th if you get rid of Hoover and Matheson yeah, I, we, we, no we can't we can't it's a lot of money and we, we, we do need money but we can't if, if that gets to 20 yeah I think about it but not for 12 and a half I'm afraid um, but yeah unless anything pops up I'll, I'll come catch you, back, catch you back in a second oh my god 89 million pounds in television rights what is that 18 i'm assuming that's not going to be all in one go no it won't be it'll be distributed over the season but oh my god i mean i'll take it avoid relegation um fourth round of pick up third round carabao cup that is fine social feed fine the link with um put a liverpool's been terminated i guess that's fair enough because we're in the same league as them now I do think we should be looking to get another affiliate. We have no affiliates. I oh, know we have Bognor Regis and Gosport. Uh, Gosport, I think, got promoted. I'd like a senior affiliate. Um, okay, maybe not. Uh, what about... I'm just looking for another affiliate club. I'd like to... Okay, overseas partner to increase our profile in another company. Okay, fine. Yeah, but I'm not happy with that. What about... Um... Oh, okay, fine. We're currently lacking somewhat in that recruitment department, so they're going to accept that. We're going to look for an, an, a, a cross-seas affiliate so we can get some players from them. Um, we'd all like to give you further control over the affiliation policy. You can pick a specific club. Sure, that could be interesting. Let's do it. I have no idea how that would work, but I guess we can have a look. We're going to accept the under 23s league. Squad selection, fine. So, okay. We can establish a partner overseas, I believe. Yeah, we're going to choose club. Oh, wait. Does it have to be in this country? No, it doesn't. Okay. But it might do. Oh, wait, it does. Oh my. Um, we're we're going to look them maybe for a League One team because we want to basically take things out of them. So let's actually have a look at their youth facilities. Average youth crew recruitment, average youth facilities, not bad. Northampton. Okay, uh, this is going to take quite a while, so I'll come back when I've made a decision. Okay, so I've made a decision that Crew Alexander is going to be the our affiliate club because good youth recruitment average youth facilities which was actually um the well one had good but they have great training facilities um so i think that's what we're going to go with the, the only other one that i was looking at was colchester um and they had good youth facilities but and good training facilities average youth cr recruitment i think oh i don't know i'm doubting myself now what's more important great training or good youth because we've got great training and average youth, or we've got good training and good youth. Um, 
No, let's go, no, let's go Colchester, just because it's not what I was going to go with. Let's go Colchester. How do you, uh, how do we select that then? Is there a way that I can... How do you do it? Choose as affiliate club. Bam. Okay, so that's the end of the season, like officially now. Uh, 25th of June. We have uh, Scouting Range upgraded, nice. Um, and yeah, friendly is arranged, all good. We've got a few, quite a lot of rage rise, wage rises now. So that that's all of our 30%, 25%, 35%. Our finances are at, we are still 100k under, let's go. Um, yeah, interesting to see if we can, that we've got Colchester as our affiliate. I wonder if it, when it will pop up. Um, I'm actually looking at this guy as well, I think he's really good. The only problem is, like, the, key, the more I bring in, the less, the more I'm pushing out of my youth. Um, if we can get this guy for a couple of million, I think we'll get him. Um, he's got incredible physicals, good all-round defending. I, he's not quite as good as some of our players. I actually think we can pair him to Hardley, who I've worked out is probably our third choice centre back next season. This guy is a lot better. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Oh dear. Interesting. I might pick this guy up, but I'll let you know what happens when we get around to it. The average rating of 7.48 by Portsmouth's Troy Parrott from 52 appearances is a new team record. Ben Close previously had the highest average rating at 7.25 in 2019. So, very good to see. Uh, obviously, we know that we knew that and we're not going to be able to get him back, but um, we have confirmed a partnership of with, with Colchester. We will pay them 46 grand a, week, a year. No, that's hardly anything now. We're in the Premier League. But host an annual friendly between them and we get and they will keep all the game receipts um we can send them on loan and we will cover their full wages and i it, it could be good it could be I, i'm not sure but it, i think overall it's good to have affiliate clubs regardless there's no real reason to not have them unless you're paying a fortune but yeah and um, that thought that was worth showing you and we'll move on this is it guys it's official we're losing our players such a shame i'm gonna try one last time just because we're going to go in for something like 10 million. Uh, I don't even know how to do this. Because we, we don't have, we have a lot of money, but we haven't got money to just burn. We don't want to spend too much. Um, 189 million. <laughs> Tell them what 189 million for Troy Parrot. Do you know what? I don't blame you. He is so good. Um, I wonder if... Um, no, we still can't. So, do you know what? We'll actually have a space for one more loan when these guys go. Matheson, he's a good player. I'm actually um, going to be quite sad to lose him. I do think if we have a look at our squad depth, in terms of right wing backs, we really have nobody. And these are these are players on trials. Moretti, so we actually only have one. Wait, really? Only one? Who do we... Oh, no, we've got a new signing coming in soon. So we're only going to have one right wing back. So we do need probably get one back in on loan but we won't be able to check that until they go back so goodbye Oscar Leo you play well for us but nothing spectacular we're not going to get you back in and Keanu Hoover this is one of the ones I'm most gutted about I actually do want to see if we can get this guy how much are they going to want for him um probably quite a bit to be fair but I do like him a lot about five million over the next three years 36 million do you know what it's not even half bad of uh that's not a bad he is fantastic um i don't know if i can justify that much though like even if we had it i don't think i can justify that i think i'd be willing to go to 20 million nah this ain't happening like 10 million up front 10 million over the next sort of 22 and a half million I don't think this is going to work um no it's not happening that's a shame because that's probably still quite probably too much money to pay for him but um you know I'd be willing to pay quite a bit but that's probably slightly too much unfortunately but um yeah here we're, we're about to see now that our players are going to go so we've got a few more players going back out on loan Benjamin Walcott Galbraith Galbraith such a shame because I had such a high hopes for him 
And I still think he's going to be good, but he's not quite there. He's working at a National League 2 side. I, I think he'll be a good... I do think he'll make a good championship player eventually. And he's going on loan to Wigan in the... Have they been relegated? I think they have, haven't they? Oh no, they're in the championship still. So he's going to play in the championship. I hope he does well. Good luck to him. Mangala Singer, another player who... His rating and current ability just keeps jumping up and down. It's because his mental stats are so bad. He's um apparently at work in a League 2 level. I'm not sure, but we're going to send him out to Birmingham, I believe. Uh, who are in the championship. So hopefully he does well with them. Good luck to him. So we're about to see like uh, Hoban leave. And we're basically going to see this is our team that we have for next season. So I do want to do that with you, sort of live. Um, yeah, just so you can see where we're at. And then the, the gaps to fill. Because we're going we're to see, you know, Matheson and Hoover leave now. Um, so it's a big, that's a big deal. You know, we're going to have... Wow, we've got a lot. Okay, well, let me just get through all these. Alright, so it is difficult to see for the moment because a lot of players are obviously on holiday, international duty, etc. Um, but this is probably the team we're going to start with next season. Um, we, you can see Lukima here. He's not um, trained as a right wing back yet, but he's good enough for it. We're training him on his crossing as well, individually, to try and get that up. Uh, and I think he'll be a really good wing back when he's up his crossing just a little bit. I mean... Okay, Norris has got a left 14, but still. Um, got, I haven't fully sorted out the reserves yet, so Jack Rolls, I think, is going to play more of a part this year. The boy for 700k, apparently he's worth 11 million. He is a very good player, and I think he's going to play more this year. Um, but we've got quite a few players who are sort of on the borderline. At the moment, Gary is our second choice right back. Unfortunately, oh, I'm not having that. <laughs> it's just not happening. Um, let me quickly undo this. See if it, who have we got on loan? So we've got Garner on loan. He is our only loan player. So I'm going to try and go out and find a right back who he can play on loan. Guys, guys, guys. Keanu Hoover. They've accepted a transfer offer that could rise to 24 million. I don't think... I don't think we should get him. He, he's very good. He's already at a Premier Division level. But it's going to be a lot of money on the transfer and the wages. It's pretty much our entire budget out the window. He is so good. And he'll be homegrown at club probably in the next, maybe I think he might be in the next year or so. Um, I just, I don't think we're going to be able to afford him. You know, he's, I don't think we can justify paying that sort of money. Um, you can see here the release clauses set on fee. I, I, if we can, if 40k, oh no, that's not, whoa, what was that before? I don't know what that was before. 40k on here. Go 43. <sighs> 44. 44k. Oh no. I'm gonna finalise it. I'm just not gonna accept it just yet. We just want to see what happens because, oh, he's so good. He's so good. Even with four four, uh, four years left on his deal. He's worth 13, you know, he's, he's worth 13 and a half million. He was so good for us last season, but he played for us in centre-back. Which, he, there's a lot more competition for him this year at centre-back. So I'm not sure, we'll just have to see what happens. But, um, yeah, well, uh, oh, we've got a new sponsorship deal, very nice. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know what I decide on that one. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's such a lot of money, but I'm going to do it. I think he, he loves the club. Uh, he'll be very good for us. He had a very good season. Granted, I checked his form, and it looks as though the when he played wing back, he wasn't particularly great. He only played like four or five times there. Um, Seven point one rating. I, okay, that's a lie. But he, his better performance is for a centre back. But I think we're going to bring him in as a full back. We've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Oh, that could be a massive mistake, and it might be quite bad financially. But they are happy. Um, very pleased to sign such an important player on a permanent basis. Hopeful that this will get the best out of him. I think he'll be amazing. And that has pretty much single-handedly solved my right-back problem. And obviously he can play at centre-back as well. Uh, do we want Alfie Jarvis? No, we definitely don't. Um, so like I said, we've been looking at a few other players anyway. Like this, wow, this guy's good as well. But we won't be able to get him. Um, that is pretty much all of our budget gone. 
which is quite worrying. But if we look at well, look at our finances now. We've got three million left in the bank, but obviously that will gradually increase as the season goes on from gate receipts. Although it'll probably maintain about the same because well, our wages, our wages are now up. We've only got we're using 444k, which if we put it in perspective. Let's have a look at the rest of the league. Team detailed, team overview. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, apparently you can't see that until the season starts. But we we've got to be spending a lot less than most of the teams in our yeah, around us. So I'm going to continue on with this, and I'll come back when we got a bit more news. I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit disappointed with this because English Premier Division title odds. We are down bottom. Obviously, we're not going to win the league, but we are bottom apparently. We just need to finish twentieth. I would disagree, but base, I don't know, it looks like we're going to do quite well, I guess we'll just have to get into the game and see what happens, so uh, we'll get into the first game of the season when we get there, we've still got a couple more friendlies, I'll catch you up when we get there. Alright guys, so we're here on the 12th of August, it's the game, not the day, of the first game of the season. Now there's a few things to show you, obviously I've shown you the transfers as I've been going, but here is an overview, £27 million spent, majority of that on Keanu Hoover, I think it's a great sign-in, I think he will be at the club for many years to come, even if he's not always a starting right back, but um, in that wing back role and as a, as a defender he is fantastic, so really lovely. Our next biggest signing, Lukima, I saw very similar to Lukemia, it's a bit worrying, but we've been training him as a complete wing back, he's getting there very slowly, there is still work to be done, we've played him a few games as you can see here, uh, four appearances, one off the bench. Yeah, uh, he's getting there, and he'll, he'll be really good as well, he's a really good player, just needs to work on the crossing. And then you have Scott McKenna, which is such a, an amazing piece of business for a 26 year old, he's already worth almost £20 million pounds for the player. Um, Asanuma, really good little striker, um, 21 years old, I think he's really good, I don't think, we don't have anyone better than him, which is worrying, but... Um, I'm hoping he'll be really good. We've had a look at a couple of loans. The transfer window is still open, so we might be able to get one more in. And Oliver Skip for free. Fantastic ball winning midfielder. He'll go straight in to replace Stewart. And then on the outs, we've got a few loan players. Uh, you'll see here we've got Bright Phillips, Tasungi. Tasungi could have maybe stayed, but I'd like to have given hardly a role in that fourth choice centre back. Uh, Barcola, uh, he's just not. He's just not. You know, he's, he's a really good little player, but. For me, he's just not been good enough, unfortunately. Last year and the year before, just not a good enough player. So, we've let him go. And then just a couple of others. We've got our second choice goalkeeper, arguably. Um, I think he'll still be really good at some point, but he's running out of time and he needs to get first team football. I think at League One level, yeah, League One, if he's ever going to really improve. A couple of other players, but not too worried about them. So that's where we got to in terms of that. I'm still looking at some potential... Um, like I said, some potential strikers, but we're not going to saw it just yet. In terms of the preseason, uh, played Club Bruges. We beat them 5-2. That's a new with a hat trick. Devine and Close getting a goal. We lost in the final of that little competition to Willem, but we had a massively rotated team, as you can see down here. We bought on a few, a few good players, but we started with a very rotated team, like Mackay, for example. <laughs> um, yep. And then we played this team. Don't know who they are. I think they're in the Belgium league. 3-0 uh, win. Again, uh, Susuma getting on the score sheet. He actually had a good preseason. Gosport, uh, obviously they're our affiliate club in the Panorama National South. And uh, we've got a nice little win against them as well, 6 0. And then Genoa, well, I was really happy with this one because they're in the Serie A. And I think we can check. Um, apparently, we don't have it as a playable league, so we can't see the, um, their prediction. But um, they are a good team anyway, so good to get a 4 0 win against them. The Garley getting a hat-trick. He just seems to either not score or he gets three goals. <laughs> he just, you know. And not much to show you else. I mean, we, we need to work. Well, coach, uh, uh, <laughs> coach is good. Scouting is terrible. But we have time to work on that. We can get another scout if we want to. We can get another data analyst. Um, but at the moment, I'm not too worried. Maybe later in the season. So, that's it. In terms of the... the um, I could show you what I was looking at in terms of the striking department i had a look here people who are loan listed and this guy from liverpool could be quite good i think he's probably gonna have to be the one if we can get him to join um other we only seem to bid for him 
other than that, there's this guy from Blackburn. Uh, I think he could be quite good as well. But they're the only two that I'm looking at, really. I think they're the two that I'd like to get in. Um, I'm actually going to make a bid um, for him. They want us to pay all of his wages. No chance. I'm not paying 49k. So, yeah. Um, I need to do something else in real life. So, what I'm going to do is pause the recording. And we'll come back when I pick the team and ready to go in for the Norwich game. Alrighty. So, this is the team we're going to go with. Um, I'm pretty happy with the majority of this team. Obviously, I need... Lukema to get better in that role but over time he will one thing to really quickly show you is the transfer budget and the wage budget and the balance we're doing all right we're gonna you know this is gonna go up every month I hope it should probably maintain about even maybe slightly up I'd hope but we'll see how that goes obviously we're, we're now we can probably see the um, now that I thought about it we can see the wage expenditure so if we go to um, where would it be finance salary per annum we are at the bottom massively look how far beneath crystal palace we are they've got over double our allowed wages and but we have to try and win so let's get into the game now i'm hoping we'll i'm hoping we can is it norwich is a good is a good team um but they are one of the you know um oh okay they are they should be quite low predicted in the table i'm not 100 percent sure norwich 13th they've definitely improved then as time's gone but i'm hoping that we've got it in us we've got a good enough team lukima runs through already can he create something oh he's almost got it oh the ball's off the line that was within 30 seconds what a start that would have been i'm sorry that looks over the line i know it obviously from the angle but Okay, it's fine. But it's a good start to the game. Really positive start. They've got a throw in here. Pedro Porro, good player. And Jonathan David has just run straight through us. How has that happened then? That was terrible defending. Just let... Uh, skip, let him go. Who's that? Who's... Oh, I don't know. One of them let him, let him go. I'm really disappointed by that. Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> but we are the home team. I want to be positive. Dennis Pratt. Oh, good header. Now we've got a goal kick. They've got another corner. We need to get a bit more control in this game. Okay. Need to put a bit of pressure on him now. Pedro Porra running down the line. Good interception. Let's go. Come on, Garner. One of them. Oh, come on. How are they winning it back so easily? I think we have a good team. Dennis Pratt obviously is a really good player, but... Mario Goethe, they obviously got Gongo, who we had on loan. I actually looked at getting him, because he was a free agent in the summer, but... We've got two good left-backs, so we don't need to, uh... We don't really need him. Do you know what? We are struggling. It doesn't have... The thing is, when games go like this... Last season we had Parrot to get us out of trouble. This season we don't have the same. Which is a bit, a bit of a shame. I offered them a quarter of a million. No, I offered them half a million every month on top of paying all his wages. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have any of it. But not a good start. You know, not a good start considering um, we actually do have a good team. You know, we we are we are a good team. Although it is relative, isn't it, to the other players in your team? So we might have a couple of four-star players. Doesn't mean they're four-star players to everyone else. Come on. We need a bit more. We're definitely going to have to do a bit of a change here. So Norris is going to come off. He's the most tired. Um, Bayakov can come on. Vasuma. And maybe Byers can come on as well. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, Lopez. Go on, him. Go on, Lopez. Show him what he can do. Did I just make all three? I think I made all three subs. That's fine. Come on. Let's get back out there and show them what we can do. Come on, guys. No. Okay, we've got another highlight here. Although they've literally won it back instantly from our start of our highlight. But that's good, we've got it. Now we hold on to the ball. 
come on. Devine running down the line. He's bursting through with his pace. Let's go. Good cross in. Dukima. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Late equaliser. We will take it. It's not ideal. And at home, these are the sort of games we need to be winning if we want to stay up this season. But we will take it. One all draw. I think defensively we were solid. We had nothing going forward. But we got a draw. And they're a good side, you know, they're a good team. Although every team is a good team in this in this save, uh, in this division. So, yeah, we've got a few good players out on loan doing quite well, a few not doing as well, but there is time. So we'll take a draw, you know, for our first game, getting warmed up into the season. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode, um, then please leave a like on it. Please let me know if you've got any kind of comments to put in the sec comment section. Uh, we've got... Uh, let's have a look what we're going to do for the rest of the uh, for the next episode. So, I think maybe we play against um, one, two, three, four. Come back for Burnley. We'll come back for Burnley in the next episode. And then maybe we'll come back for Tottenham. Um, oh, I don't know actually. Do you know what? We're just going to come back for a. Tr ah. You were going to do a triple header. No, we don't want to do a triple header of Man United, Arsenal and Chelsea. We're just going to get battered in all of them. I <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to come back for Brighton. Yeah, Brighton. Um, we also want to make sure we come back for Southampton. So we need to work this out well. But anyway, we'll come back for Brighton. If you have enjoyed the episode, it's been quite a long one. Uh, please leave a like on it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Take care and goodbye.